Hey guys, welcome to Chapel at Home with your boy, Pastor Link. <laughs> I hope you all had a great week. Guess what guys, we only have one more week of school left until summer break. Yes! Are you guys as excited as I am? Teachers, are you as excited as I am? Oh man, I can't wait for summer break. We only have one more week. But you know what that means? That means I'm not gonna see you guys for like two months and a half, three months. So I'm starting to get sad about that. I don't know if I wanna go on summer break. Maybe I do, I don't know, but I don't wanna miss you guys. Ah, oh, but just one more week of school left, guys. So keep on pushing, do the best you can to finish the school year strong. And just, and just, God, I just can't wait for you guys to enjoy your summer. Remember, we have been talking about Jesus being the ultimate teacher. Jesus' most important teaching moment is called the Sermon on the Mount. Last week, oh, I think I burped. Last week, I spoke about Jesus teaching us to love our enemies and the friends we don't like because God loves them. And if you are truly a son and daughter of God, that means that you have to love everyone, even the people, your friends you don't like. Today, we continue with another one of Jesus' important teaching moments. In Matthew chapter seven, Jesus tells us, or he teaches us to not judge people. And in return, you won't be judged back. Do you know what judging means? To judge someone means that you form an opinion or conclusion about someone. The reason why Jesus teaches us not to judge is because sometimes you can form the wrong opinion or conclusion on someone because they had a bad day. You know, imagine if you had a bad day, you know, everything was going bad and you act out, you know, you're mean to someone because you're frustrated. And that person in return then thinks that, oh man, this guy is really mean. Does that mean that you're a mean person for the rest of your life? No, you just had one bad day. And that's why we shouldn't judge people. We shouldn't form opinions or conclusions on them because we don't know them that well. Only God knows them well. Remember, God knows us all. Only he knows who we truly are. So Jesus is teaching us, don't judge someone. Don't form a conclusion or opinion on someone. And in return, people won't judge you or form a conclusion or opinion on you. I have a question for you guys. How many of you guys like ice cream? I love ice cream. Do you guys love ice cream? You do? Well, I have a surprise for you. Check under your chair because there is some ice cream right there. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, uh, it's not true. I can't do that. I'm sorry. I lied to you guys. That was just a prank. I'm sorry. Some of my favorite ice cream flavors are cookies and cream, uh, the Oreo one. I love the dulce de leche. Uh, strawberry cream cheese, uh, it's so good. And then I tried this really weird ice cream. It's a cotton candy, right, ice cream, so it's blue. But guess what? They put Pop Rocks on it. Do you know what Pop Rocks are? Those are that little candies that you put in your mouth and then they start to explode like little miniature explosions in your mouth, like Yes, so that ice cream was so good because imagine every time you like, you put your mouth, you put it inside your mouth, it was an explosion of little Pop Rocks all the time. So it felt so cool and it was so yummy. Those are my favorite flavors of ice cream. What are some of your favorite flavors of ice cream? I'm taking notes so that one day I can surprise you by, you know, giving, putting your favorite ice cream under your chair. It could happen, you don't know. One of my favorite things to do is to eat ice cream on a hot summer day. It always makes me feel so cool and refreshed afterwards. But you know what happens to me when I eat ice cream on a hot summer day? Sometimes I get ice cream all over my face, especially my beard when it's really big. I get ice cream all over my beard. Has your face ever gotten messy because of you, because you were eating ice cream? Have you ever eaten ice cream with friends and noticed that they had ice cream all over their face? So, you know, you try to be nice and you tell them, hey, hey friend, you kind of have some ice cream everywhere. But then they tell you, you have ice cream everywhere too. One thing that we can learn about judging is that before you tell someone they have ice cream all over your face, make sure that you don't have ice cream all over your face. This means that before you judge someone, make sure that you are perfect. 
Hey man, you kind of have some ice cream all over your face. Really? Oh man, you also have ice cream on your face. This is why we need Jesus, because Jesus can make us perfect in the eyes of our Heavenly Father. By dying on the cross for me and you, this means that we can come to our Heavenly Father and instead of seeing a messy person because of all the sins or we, we, we commit or for breaking God's law, instead of seeing a messy person, our Heavenly Father sees perfection because he sees Jesus Christ in us. In Matthew chapter 7, Jesus also says that the forgiveness you show someone will be the forgiveness that you will receive in return. If you want people to forgive you when you make a mistake, then you have to forgive people when they make a mistake. The same forgiveness you want God to show you when you break his law is the same forgiveness you got to show other people when they break God's law as well. Remember, being a son and daughter of God means that you love people the way he loves people. So if God forgives people, then as sons and daughters of God, this means that we have to forgive people too. Being a son and daughter of God means that we don't judge people because Jesus didn't judge people. I got two tips to help you not to judge people. Tip number one, instead of judging people, ask them how you can help them. Instead of judging someone, tell them, hey man, how can I help you? By doing this, you are showing that you care about them, that you love them instead of judging them. For example, if you are eating ice cream with a friend and you notice that they have ice cream all over their face, instead of judging them and telling them that they have ice cream all over their face, you can, show, you can be nice to them. So you grab a napkin and you clean the ice cream off their face. This shows that you care about them, that you love them and you're not judging them. Tip number two. The next time you judge someone, ask yourself, am I perfect enough to judge this person? The next time you see your friend has ice cream all over their face, make sure that you don't have ice cream all over your face. By doing this, you realize that you are not perfect. But by also doing this, you realize that, hey, I'm going to show you forgiveness. And in return, <laughs> you're going to show me forgiveness as well. You're going to show me, comp I will show you compassion and you show me compassion. I'm going to be nice to you and you're going to be nice to me. And by doing this, you realize that you are not perfect and therefore you cannot judge someone. Right now, I want you guys to pause this video and ask God for forgiveness for judging people. Ask God to teach you not to judge people, but to teach you to love them the way he loves them. And then once you're done, unpause this video so we can continue with our chapel. All right, guys, let us pray. Dear Jesus, Thank you for teaching me to not judge people. Thank you for teaching me to love them instead of judging them. Thank you for teaching me to show the same forgiveness that you have shown me. And lastly, God, I ask that you help me be a better son and daughter so that I can love people the way you love them. In your name I pray, amen. All right, guys, have a great weekend. Have a great Sabbath. I hope you enjoy it. Let it be restful. Have a break from school. You deserve it. And then remember, just one more week of school left. One more week. So do your best to finish the school year strong. I love you all. Mwah, 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 mwah. And have a great weekend. High fives. No, it was really cold. Oh, man. Do I look clean? Am I clean? I can go out in public like this, right? No, just put a mask over it. No one will know, notice I have ice cream. Yeah, I like this idea. Oh boy, I dropped ice cream on the floor. <laughs>